Good morning, everybody. Uh, just going to do a little morning rant. Well, it's not a morning rant. It's just going to get something off my mind, off my chest. Um, so I had this little gym this morning. Uh, this is from, you can see, the, the boys and girls over at the D.C. Police Department. And this is a speed camera ticket. Uh, that we got a couple months ago. We got about a month ago. Uh, we were traveling to uh, North Carolina for a uh, event, and we happened to go through 295 over by the uh, st- stadium. And I've been through that road numerous times. I've been, matter of fact, I've been on that road since um, before the Hayden had speed cameras. And um, I find it a little strange that this is my first, and my, probably my last speed ticket on that road. But I've always, you know, did speed limit and, you know, going at a recent speed. And then I realized that the, this ticket uh, is, is crazy because the speed limit on that stretch of road is 50 miles an hour. Um, which is crazy because that's a highway. And there's no people around. There's no people. There's no pedestrians going across the street. It's set up like a regular highway. And I understand in, in, in Baltimore City, you know, we have speed limit in Baltimore City. You know, it's 55 miles an hour. Obviously, you know, it's a highway. But at 50 miles an hour, that's just a little too slow to be considered a highway. And yet, you're going to get people who are used to being on the highway going at higher speeds. So you're going to artificially lower the speed on a highway so that you can get more of these, more money. And I think that's a, I think that's a scam, really. Because you're playing with people's lives. Because the thing about it is, I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't mind. DC, DC is a nice place. They got health. They got lots of potholes. They got lots of problems, too. But by artificially lowering the speed limit, from 55 to 50 in a highway situation and there's no pedestrians around and the traffic should automatically flow like it's supposed to, you need to play with people live so you can get more of these. And that's that's to, that's why I, that's just just genuine. I think it's it's crazy. I think it's wrong. But what you gonna do? All those Democrats over there, they need to steal money from someplace. So this is your way of taxing the, the people who use your services. But guess what? You're also playing with people's lives also. So, you know, I don't mind paying the, paying the speed ticket. I mean, I, I got $100. That's nothing. But I don't have another life. And I think that you're playing with people's lives. So, enjoy your $100. I mean, this is probably the last one you're going to get from me. And as I said, I've traveled this road since 1984. And this is my first and probably my last ticket. Because I always drive the speed limit, or try to drive the speed limit, but I was doing 62 in a 50 mile an hour zone, okay? I don't get it. It should have been 55, because that's a regular speed limit for a highway. So you're just going to unofficially drop the speed so you can get more money. A couple years ago, Baltimore City did some stupid stuff like that. Where they, well, they when they get speak, they want to get speed cameras and they'll get more of these tickets. So what they did is what they they with the timing of the lights, they made a shorter time limit. So you get in three seconds to go through a light. You only get like a minute, a second and a half to get through a light. Then it automatically flashes to to, uh, to red. That's a scam. You can't scam the people like that. Safety's involved. A federal judge had to come in there and say, uh-uh, you can't do this. So, you know, enjoy your last $100. So, stick it.